clear skies. Joris Nikonen says you have an interesting story to tell. Clear skies to you, my lord. Well, it all began when we came upon this caravan. Go on. Hmm. Military matters I usually leave in the more than competent hands of the Baron. But Nikonen sent you to me. You see, he is a rarity in the Stone Fist Mercenary Company, the one old hand who was born here. We have known each other almost all our lives. He is the reason Stone Fist came to our aid during the Orc invasion. And he sent you to me? That's odd. Why did you come to Koparan? An orc invasion? Happened about 15 years ago. Several tribes got together, whipped to a frenzy by a shaman. They hit us hard and opened a breach, got a foothold in the outer works, and were about to hit the town. Then Gromnir hit them from behind, and they were between hammer and anvil. The Stonefist Mercenary Company? Our military force, since they helped us repel the orc invasion. Who's Stonefist? Gromnir Stonefist, founder of the Stonefist Mercenary Company. That doesn't answer my question. Our current mission is to escort Lady Kitayala. Koparan was the seat of her family before the Cataclysm. And uh, Lady Kathayala is on a nostalgia trip? Far from it. One of her ancestors left family heirlooms hidden in the fortress. Among those heirlooms, we hope to find clues about the next stage of our quest. Old elven nobility, I am sure I have never seen you before, Lady Ketayela. So tell me something about Corporan that a newcomer or even a casual visitor can't know. In a side valley, there is an imperial mausoleum of Lanarak, home of the honored dead. What's Lanarak? A very particular kind of marble, very precious. The traditional stone for the honored dead. A place of remembrance? Yes, for the honored dead who fell in battle for the Empire. There is indeed an ancient imperial mausoleum in a side valley, sealed off since the fall of Manakalan. Not many know of it. Thank you, my lady. I am convinced. As for the rest of you, you said you were sent by the Legacy Council? We see a lot of Council agents on their way to the Badlands, and they bring a lot of rumors. So tell me, is there any truth to the rumor that the Sorex are back? Can they truly possess others? Not possess, exactly. What they do is worse. If you believe the tales that the paladins of Einar recovered from their archives. Do me a favor. Walk around our city. Talk to the people. Then report your impressions to Sergeant Nikonen. Not a word about what you told me, though. Do you believe the Sorax are in Copperan? I'll say no more for the time being. Walk the streets, then see Nikonin. Meanwhile, stay in the light. Clear skies to you, Sinod. This town is really dirty. rather silly, really, this young man. He asked me for a specific design so he could propose. So he probably gambled the money away. Not him. Straight arrow. On the fast track to Sergeant Oriya, I asked around. So, where is this paragon of yours? Consigned to guard duty. A whole week. And that just on his return from patrol.
Sergeant, when can I see my Eric? He is due some liberty. Lass, I already told you. He's assigned to guard duty. A whole week of it? And that after two weeks on patrol? No. He just doesn't want to see me anymore. Now, Lass, don't you fret. It's not that at all. The old man has his whole patrol on guard duty in the basement ever since they came back. Something's up. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Mr. Smildred, the brewer wants to know when to bring the next delivery of ale. He doesn't want it to go stale. He has his reputation to consider. If only the Stone Fist had let his thirsty patrol out on leave as usual. But now, we've only got the regulars and the ale's not moving too fast. Take him two empty barrels and get two new. It's the best we can do right now. Well met. What can we do for you on it? The Synod sent us to talk to you. Anything unusual in the last days? Well, the Baron came back with a bunch of prisoners. Highwaymen, apparently. I'm wondering why they didn't hang them on the spot. Hanging, eh? Would that be the normal practice? Yes. You don't need that many prisoners to make them talk, if you ask me. We should go. Pleasure doing business with... Ha! Oh, the Senard's up in mad! Why is that? The whole week he's been waiting, and still no meeting with the Baron. Well, that's weird. Usually they meet every day, at least. Like an old couple, the two of them. Well met again. So, you've had a chance to walk around the city and hear what people are saying? So, what do you think? The story with the highwaymen is also weird. Why keep them prisoner, huh? Normally, the penalty is clear and swift. On the frontier, you don't feed idle people, particularly not scum like the highwaymen. At best, you put them to work. At worst, they become fertilizer. Something is wrong. Soldiers back from a patrol denied leave? Posted to guard duty instead of visiting the tavern? There are two things I didn't mention in our last conversation. Things about Roald and the Baron. What about the Baron? I've known him for 20 years. I was a founding member of the company. Now, for the first time in 10 years, I am officer of the day posted here, and that's not all. For the last ten years, he's always called me Joris. Now, all of a sudden, it's back to Nikonin. Something's wrong. I can feel it. What about Roald? When you told me of Roald's death and return his personal effects, I was speechless. Not out of grief, but because not a week before, Roald had come back from patrol. You mean, one of them is... Not who he seems. Suggestions, Sarge? The Senard mentioned your mission. He and I go back a long way. So, go to see the Baron and tell him your heirloom story. I know what his normal reaction would be. So come back and we can compare notes. And 
if I were you, I wouldn't mention Royal, the caravan, or anything else. Clear skies to you. Access to the canyon is blocked for the moment. You can't go to the other side. Move on. Greetings, adventurers. Sergeant Nikonin says you want to see me on some urgent matter? Yes. It concerns our traveling companion, Lady Cathayla. Then let her speak for herself. My lord, before the Cataclysm, this valley was in the care of my family. Alas, only a few of us managed to survive, and none at all in the valley. A sad tale, my lady, but not uncommon. Those were dire times. My father passed away recently. Upon his deathbed, he mentioned some family heirlooms left in a hidden room somewhere in the fortress. With your leave, my lord, I would like to search for this hidden room and retrieve my family's belongings. Out of the question. This is my castle, and all in it belongs to me. Now be gone. And be glad that, as a guest, you are protected by our customs. Otherwise, your impudence would land you in the dungeon. He's rude. But he's a dwarf, after all. Ah, you're back. How did the audience go? Clear skies. Well, he didn't imprison us, just threw us out. Just threw you out? That's not like him at all. Oh, he's not always so generous to strangers? No. Just pragmatic and smart. Pragmatic? It would be cheaper to let you find the heirlooms under close escort. He'd demand a fee, but it's easier than having to search for himself. Smart. Of course, smart. If we assume Lady Kithaela's story is true, then arresting her or coercing her could have drawn the ire of an elven clan. A pretty stupid move for stuff which might only have sentimental value, so not like drawn there at all. Fine. What do you suggest? Let me make some preparations. You go back to him tomorrow as envoys of the Legacy Council. is a nice dwarf.
Welcome to... We'd like to stay for... Sure, get settled. Sergeant Nikonin, why are you bringing these people to me again? My lord, they showed me credentials that I thought you should see. Credentials? What do credentials have to do with Lady Kitaeya's claims? My lord, we are deputies of the Legacy Council. And the Legacy Council interferes in Copperan's affairs? Quite the contrary, my lord. The Council would appreciate Copperan's help. Why didn't you say so yesterday? We do not flaunt our allegiance unless there is need, my lord. Lady Kathaila has agreed to help the Council in a delicate and vital matter. And what is that? Historical research. Those baubles have some historical value? We believe so, my lord. We wouldn't be here otherwise. Then why not just say so? Confidential matters are best handled confidentially, my lord. Hmm. Then, uh, shall we search for these heirlooms together? I shall escort you, and we'll inventory the historical items. Then we can discuss a reasonable share for the keep. That would be more than fair, my lord. Then please, lead the way. Where should we start? In the basement, my lord. Let's go then. Nikonen, you were right to bring them to me. Now back to your post. Yes, my lord. The Baron's waiting for you. Light is with us.
here. This is the place. And so near the dungeons. How subtle. And fitting. Please, Lady Katea, before we inventory your heirlooms, there is something I wish to show you. You will find it interesting, hopefully. Is that the Baron? Now we shall all have a nice long chat together. And you will give me that crown. Still standing. Hard for this. No quarter given. Ah! 
More coming your way! is out for you. Anyway.
Oh, bad luck. You'll get a nice car. You have them now!
Kromnir, thank Einar you're safe. Yes, I am. Thanks to Joris and these adventurers, it seems. Thank you. Now, old friend, go see a Atima with Joris. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I am the Seynard, and you, you shall resume your duties. Only if our cleric says you're fit. But... No buts. I shall secure the keep and the valley till you're back. As for you, my friends, find Lady Kitaela's belongings and meet me in the throne room. Strike true. Tell us, Lady Kataela, what did you find? A gem? This is my spell book. I remember. A wand, a robe, some money as well as a piece of paper. 
What does it say? I don't know. There is only one word written on the paper. Addressed you. Is that another place? I'm not sure. I feel the pull coming back. I guess we'll soon be on the road again then. More monsters to kill. Fantastic. What about that door? Another secret from Imperial times? We've dealt with this before. A major gate. Captain Ironshell was right. This dusty old room. Yes, look at it. It's perfectly intact. It is locked, though. How do we unlock it? You need to use its name. It would normally be engraved nearby, but this was a private, secret gate. So we can't use it? I know its name. This was my family's. So? Once you get me to my master, I'll give you the name. I guess that's fair. And then we teleport to Kerkiflan. Well, that's fantastic. I'm not sure the Senard will want to wait. Then I'll give him the name, but you still need to stay with me. She's tough, but at least she doesn't sound crazy anymore. Watch your words, you... <sighs> Never mind. Lady Kitaeya, dear friends, words are not enough to convey my thanks. Your swift action has saved my life, and our veil. We shall be more wary of the Council's warnings. The Council warned you? Indeed. I thought they exaggerated, alas. If anything, they weren't loud enough. Sorax are real. You saw them with your own eyes. Their presence was a clear message. Be wary. Be careful. True. We won't let our guard down. How does this change your position? Do you plan to join the Council, or simply to help us in our endeavors? We shall join. The discovery of the Hidden Gate will allow us to communicate swiftly. But enough about matters of state. The Senard has the right of it. The only benefit of power is the ability to reward friends. And true friends of Corporan, you have proven to be. Thanks for your kind words. We feel quite rewarded. You are hereby granted permanent citizenship of Koporan, with all associated rights, as well as free use of our rediscovered gate. The keys to the town, maybe? And these gems from our minds are well suited to holding enchantments. Go forth on your journey 
with our blessings. Many thanks for your generous gifts. May Einar watch over Koparan. Thank <laughs> you.